White Sox hosting the Angels. The Angels are minus 141 on the money line. The White Sox are plus 120. The over-under is eight runs. The Angels laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 119, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the White Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 141, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, this is honestly bad versus worse. I don't imagine many people are betting on this game unless they're betting against the White Sox and, you know, the White Sox probably won't finish the season with 40 wins, and, you know, who knows if the Angels will end up with 100 losses on this season. It doesn't look like it, though. Um, Anderson had pitched once against the White Sox last year. Four innings, six runs, six earned. They lost 7-3 in Chicago. He struck out three. Flexen pitched once against the Angels as a member of the Mariners. Five innings, two runs, two earned. They lost 4-3. He struck out four. The weather for tomorrow's game is supposed to be we have to find the game 74 degrees nine mile an hour winds from the left to the right and no rain head to head they are five and five against each other the white Sox are on a two-game winning streak the home team's on a four-game winning streak the underdog is six and four on the money line and the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is eight and two there have been four one run games in their last 10 including the last three that they played against each other the game tonight went into extra innings and you know that, that's what happens when they automatically put runners in scoring position. The under is hitting their last four. The under is six and four, and the under eight is six and four. The Angels are one and four in Anderson's last five starts, four and a third innings pitched, 5.2 hits, 3.6 runs, 2.8 of which were earned, 4.2 strikeouts, 2.4 walks, one home run per game. He's given up home runs in back to back starts, and two in his last start. 88.8 pitches per game, 21.2 pitches per inning. And for the White Sox, they are 2-3 and three in Flexen's last five starts. Five innings pitched, 6.4 hits, 2.2 earned runs, 5.4 strikeouts, 1.8 walks, one home run he gave up two in his last start. 95 pitches per game, 19.7 pitches per inning. He hasn't been pitching well. I know you look at his record and he's 2-15, and 15, but look at the White Sox record overall and then kind of understand that some of these teams are going to cherry pick these pitchers because it's not that the pitchers are pitching bad the team is just terrible the angels are three and seven in their last 10 14 runs 17 runs five runs seven runs four runs in a loss nine runs in a win two runs in a loss three runs in a loss the white Sox are on a two-game winning streak eight runs six runs five runs and then seven runs two runs in a loss two runs in a loss three runs in a win four runs in a win I'll take a shot. I'll take the White Sox with the money line, the White Sox getting the runs, and I'll go under, and let's see if they can get a three-game winning streak. That would be pretty wild. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.